Peace and prosperity guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, uh, in this video, I'm going to be just kind of recapping over my time as course manager here at Dharma Deepa, a Vipassana center here in the UK. Let me just fall back for a second. I know normally I'm, you know, Mr. Intense coming right up to the camera. Um, I'm going to try and, you know, take the back seat and take some rest and not be so... Uh, intense. So um, yeah, in this video, I'm just kind of going to recap about my time. Just There was mainly just one point I wanted to get across. So, um, so yeah, quickly, uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out my previous videos about serving here, being course manager, you know, serving for my first time, my first time giving service, there's three videos. So if you haven't checked them out, check them out. They can be found on my Vipassana playlist on my YouTube channel, Undeniable Force. So, um, yeah, I've done those videos on day seven of service. So the course still hadn't finished yet. Um, so, yeah, in this video, I kind of just wanted to talk about um, something major that happened. So along the course, I was kind of doubting this, uh, not doubting, but I was kind of becoming aware that you know, because my energy is intense, my energy is very out there, my energy is very strong, it's very um, contagious, it can be when it's, when it's in the up, that, you know, that, uh, that sort of thing. So, I remember on the course I sat before, there was one server who was a um, really nice guy, but he was quite distracting for me. So, you know, in the process of coming here, you're in silence, you haven't got your phone, so... And all of these, these things are there to keep, you know, the monkey mind to a minimum. So anything that's going on, on around you um, can be a distraction and can trigger thought process and stuff like that. So we kind of want a, 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 an environment that's, that's de-stimulating. I don't know if that's the correct word, de-stimulating, unstimulating. Um, and I remember this guy, and uh, he was a really nice guy, really genuine guy. Um, I think he had a lot of Aries in his chart. So, you know, Aries, they're very like... Uh, like that and um, and yeah I just kind of found him a bit distracting um, during the course because I felt like he was just trying to make eye contact with everyone and this and that and what happened I've now I'm now doing course manager so I'm you know on the front line and from the get-go when people were coming for the induction and he was having that first initial kind of interview thing and you know, allocating them their rooms and going over the code of conduct and this and that you know because I was so warm and nice and genuine and caring i kind of um it kind of set the bar as for people you know coming here it can be daunting it can be a daunting experience because you know it's a serious serious place you're here to do the work there's no there's no messing around so um i feel like i kind of set the bar in a way that people felt safe with me that um that I was human you know and like they can they can come to me and stuff like that because i do have that energy about myself but yeah, as the, as the days were starting, um, I kind of saw that, you know, how I am, how I walk around, how I dress. Um, yeah, I was thinking, am I doing too much? Should I tone it down a little bit? Um, should I just stop being so, you know, and there were times where I was openly speaking to students, of course, quietly, but, um, you know, people would see me conferring with, with, with uh, students and um, yeah, just kind of how I marched around was really like, um, it wasn't so much like this. I was kind of, you know, I'm an open book and I'm kind of, yeah, I was kind of, um, I was just doing me, you know, and that's my energy uh, on, on good days. Uh, so I was thinking, man, like, have I become too warm? Have I become too friendly? Should I be more serious? But at this point, it was what it was. So um, I was kind of skeptical about that. I was hoping like low key, that there wasn't any complaints about me, that you know, no one went to management in the end and was like, oh, that Hakeem guy, he was a bit distracting, he was a bit, you know. Um, I had these kind of doubts about myself, you know, about my energy, but man, I can confirm that on day 10, when we broke the noble silence, day 10 and day 11, until the students went home, that the wonderful, beautiful students all came up to me to express their gratitude for my service and complimented me on 
numerous different things. Now, I didn't come to do service to receive gratification of my work. However, I was filled with love. I was filled with so much love from these people. And it was, it was such a boost to, you know, and I told them I couldn't take credit. When people were saying thank you to me for my service and stuff like that, you know, I couldn't take credit for it because in a way I didn't really do anything. I kind of just was me. I literally just was me from, from start to finish. Uh, sometimes I was a bit hectic. Sometimes I was a bit serious. You know, I had a lot of love for everyone. I was open for everyone. If anyone needed anything, they could come to me and everyone knew that. And I was really, 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 really holding space for people to do the work. And that was the most beautiful service I could ever have provided. And it's funny because outside, like, you know, I struggle with stuff. I struggle with stuff. I don't work. Um, there's not a place for me in society to, to shine. But guess what? Somewhere like here, my skills, my capabilities, I'm able to shine and do what I came here to do, which is ultimately to hold space for people to do the work. Just like when I volunteered on that yoga instructor course, that was the first time I had been gifted a role of responsibility for something that I cared about. And guess what? I shined there also. And I was like, okay, this is my line of work to hold space for people who want to do the work. So it was amazing. Shout out all the guys if they're watching this. You know, I'm, I'm, it was such an experience to watch people go through that process, especially the new students who've never been here before. You know, to watch them, the transformation from day one all the way to the end. A few people that wanted to pull out that didn't pull out and just, you know, made it through. Um, it was amazing, amazing, amazing to be part of that experience and being on the front line as the course manager, we're almost the face. So our energy kind of shapes, as well as the teacher, the main teacher, um, our energy kind of shapes the course and, and, and the experience for them. So it's a big, big responsibility. Um, so yeah, um, amazing, absolutely a, a wonderful time, a very transformative 10 slash 11 days for me. I can say I got to learn so much and um, I'm now, it's day zero now, so the students are gonna arrive today from two o'clock. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go through the whole process again. I'm very grateful to be given course manager again. So I'm gonna honor that experience. Um, my guy Liam, shout out my guy Liam, he's actually coming to sit the course, so it's gonna, it's, it's a real honor for me to serve him even though I know he's not going to come to me with any questions or he's not going to be making eye contact, still the energy's there, still the love is there. So I'm really excited to see, you know, um, what energies are coming in. And um, uh, yeah, it's a real exciting experience. And um, yeah, who knows what the future holds, but definitely, um, you know, and why am I talking so much about this kind of stuff? Why am I talking so much about, oh, I'm, I'm in a role of responsibility? Well, guys, if you haven't watched all my other videos, I've lived a life, a mad life of, yeah, you can just look at the titles. You don't even have to watch the videos to see the content. You can just look at the titles. And for the first time in my life, age 31, your boy is, um, yeah, I'm gonna say that um, things are aligning and I'm kind of coming into the position that I'm meant to come in and I'm meant to shine, that's the truth. I'm meant to shine, but only, only where it's uh, hospitable for me. And luckily enough, I found myself here at Dharma Deepa in a place that is hospitable for my shine. So yeah, it's just a little video that I kind of, it's kind of more and uh, some notes to self, um, some reflections to self about uh, you know who I am, what I'm doing, and the growth that I'm experiencing. So yeah, if you're watching this, mucho respeto. And um, yeah, maybe I'll see you one day in Dharma land. Maybe you will decide to undergo the process of Vipassana. And maybe you will get insight to you. Maybe you will take off the glasses and get to experience the true reality, maybe you will experience the reality not as it appears to be, but as it is. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And I don't know which video I'm gonna, you know, pour out next. 
but I'm going to try and keep away from technology this week because things got a bit hectic during the 10 days, 10, 11 days. I was trying to do so much. Um, so I'm going to try and be more focused and more present. So, um, yeah, I will see you on the other side. Peace.